Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing an Apple IIe. So let's get started. So the Apple IIe uh, is the successor to the Apple II Plus, which was the uh, computer that I had. And uh, the Apple IIe was Apple's most successful um, computer in the Apple II lineup. It uh, sold for 11 years. Uh, the Apple IIe had um, 64K of RAM, which was a lot of RAM back then. And you may be asking why I would buy an Apple IIe. Uh, I, I bought the Apple IIe because I wrote a video game for the Apple II series called um, Space Defender back in 1982. And I uh, wanted to get a little retro and um, try it out on the Apple IIe. The only reason I bought an Apple IIe instead of an Apple II Plus was because um, I couldn't find an, uh, an Apple II Plus on eBay that had everything that I needed. So well, there's a lot of paper in here. So uh, I bought this Apple IIe off of eBay for $100. Um, so I'm going to take some of this paper out first and then <laughs> we'll, we'll unbox the Apple IIe. There's quite a bit of paper in here. Okay, so I got the mountain of paper out of the box. The first thing to come out is the monitor, the uh, <laughs> The retro 80 column green screen monitor. There's the Apple logo, the power button, and the screen actually swivels. Next out of the box is the Duo Disc. Uh, the Apple II line prior to the Apple IIe had two separate five and a quarter floppy drives. The uh, Duo Disc was uh, introduced with the Apple IIe. Uh, it's one unit and has two five and a quarter inch floppy drives. Uh, hopefully uh, these are working as well. And now for the main attraction, the Apple IIe. And here it is, the uh, Apple IIe, um, 1980. It was came out. Apple released it in 1983. Again, Apple's most successful computer in the Apple II lineup, selling for 11 years and putting Apple on the map. Um, the old built-in keyboard. 64K of RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up and we'll uh, see if it boots. Uh, again, according to the ad where I bought it uh, on eBay, uh, it indicated that it booted up and should be able to go right into basic. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I've got everything hooked up and let's see if the computer will boot. It does boot. So as you can see, the uh, quality of the green screen has diminished, diminished significantly over the last 30 years, and really the refresh rate just isn't fast enough for the camera to capture a very good image. So those combinations make it a really poor uh, display. So what I've done is I've hooked up the Apple IIe through the standard single cable audio video port on my TV, and I'm going to go ahead and boot up the Apple IIe now. So you guys can see the boot up. So I've got it booted up and it's trying to find a disk, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just reset it. And we've just booted into the operating system where we've just uh, reset into the operating system. And I'm going to run a really quick program here. So 10, let's do uh, print. I am a working Apple to E and then 20 go to 10 we'll go ahead and run this and there we go 
So the computer works amazing after 30 years. So let's go ahead and next thing I want to do is go ahead and run Space Defender, the uh, get that in focus, the game that I created for the Apple II series. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the computer and re uh, boot it and see if this disk actually works after 30 years. So fingers crossed. I can't believe that this is actually working after 30, 30 years. I wrote this game in BASIC and, and then compiled it into machine code with a uh, compiler application. It's going to take a little while for it to load because the Apple IIe uh, of course only had 64K of memory and has to load everything from the disk into memory and uh, offload that back into the memory. So there's the splash screen. Go ahead and move on to the game. Actually amazed that this is actually working after 30 years. That disc, the disc that I put in, hasn't seen, hasn't been in a disk drive since 1983. All right, we'll go ahead and select the easy level. I don't remember the keyboard commands, so I'm just going to let the game run. And this was considered a, uh, a quality game back in 1982, 1983, if you can believe it. So that's it, a demonstration of the Apple IIe. Uh, if, if you have any questions about the Apple IIe, I'll definitely try and remember. And just leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll try to answer any questions you have about the Apple IIe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I will talk to you later.